Hi guys, I'm Hit Ratio. I'm a 12 year old kid who wants you to have fun with electronics. I have many projects in mind, but the first one which you're gonna do is a robot arm. It's gonna do many things like bottle flipping, play carom, and chess. So let's go right to it. So, this is the robot I'm trying to make. This motor over here makes a robot arm move left and right. This motor over here makes a robot arm move up and down. This motor over here makes a other part of the robot arm move up and down. And this part over here, this motor, makes the arm of the robot close and open. This is the kit I found which will help me do my project. It has 3 NEMA 17 motors, 3 N stops, 4 8825 drivers, one Arduino Uno R3 and one CNC Shield V3. Arduino Uno is a good starting kit and the CNC Shield V3 is going to help us connect the motors very easily. This kit also comes with four TI-8825 drivers. Each driver is capable of delivering 2.5 amperes of current to the motor. It also comes with three NEMA 17 motors. Each motor is capable of carrying 4 kgs of weight. Included end stops are mostly used in 3D printers, but I don't think I'm going to be using this for this project. These are 3 NEMA 17 stepper motors and this is one NEMA 23 stepper motor. We got this NEMA 23 stepper motor as an extra because we'll be needing it in our project. 23 and 17 is the size of the motor in inches. This is 2.3 inches and this is 1.7 inches. Motors are perfect for robots because they allow fine control over rotation and this video on YouTube shows us how a stepper motor works very nicely. Let's start making this robot. This is a CNC V3 and this is an Arduino Uno board. I'm going to put the CNC V3 on the Arduino Uno board. The pins have to align perfectly. Put the 8825 drivers. Let the enable pin align with the enable pin. Don't forget to put the heat sink on the 8825 driver or the 8825 driver will overheat. Now let's plug in the Arduino Uno board to the computer using the provided USB cable. This NEMA 17 has a rating of 1.2 amps and this NEMA 23 has a rating of 2 amps. That's why we first need to tune the drivers to deliver the correct current. I also got this 10 ampere power supply to give power to the motors. So let's connect the power supply to the CNC board. Use the screw to tighten this. Since the motor's rating is 1.2 amps, we need to tune the driver to 1.2 amps. We have to take one lead of the multimeter to the ground and the other lead of the multimeter to the tuning pot. You can see here it's 1.6 volts. If you double it, it becomes 3.2 amps. For this, we need 1.2 amps, so we need to reduce it down to 0.6 volts. I'm going to do the same for the next two drivers. Nima 23 is rated 2 amps, so we need 1 uh, volt to make it that. Now let's connect the motors to the board. Using this cable, connect.
our board is now fully connected hey guys that was lots of fun today if you like where i'm heading hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications for further videos i'll be posting in the next video i'm going to show you how to load up software and make the motors work thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.